All right, guys. Got another package today from uh, NF Strike Lightache, and I actually took it out of the uh, packaging envelope because uh, I wasn't actually sure what the heck it was because this is a much larger box than I had anticipated. Um, but it's kind of a uh, interesting product. It's one that when they emailed me and said, hey, would you want to review this? I had a bit of a chuckle and then decided, you know, what the heck, this seems uh, interesting. And what it is... is a large-ish uh, transforming knockoff blaster thing. And uh, as a child, I've always been a large fan of Transformers and things like that. Um, this was kind of uh, was a bit of a memory flogger. And if anybody, uh, any other Transformer fans of sorts, watch any of Thu Adams' videos, and see his knockoff beatdown episodes. Um, but at least that's, I don't know, that's what came to mind here, was just seeing how bad this could be, or if, perchance, it's halfway decent. I will assume it's not going to, going to be very practical, but, you know, we'll, uh, we'll take it for what it is. It is packaged fairly well. I mean, I was actually kind of, uh, like, it's actually, like, solid as far as the box. It's got the uh, obligatory deformation, uh, deformed blaster number three out of five. Uh, this is the ferocious wolf gun, which sounds terrifying. Diecast material, diecast, I'll be darned. Super cool deformation. This is super cool, I can't wait. Shooting the soft bullets. All right, that's that's right up my alley. Okay, so, and this is obviously a, a, a combiner of sorts. It encourages you to uh, pick up the fire dragon holy gun. <laughs> Roaring Tiger Gun, Leopard Gun, and Fire Phoenix, Phoenix Gun, Gun King. King. So, uh, they only sent me this one though, so that's okay. Deformed shooting body combination. Interesting. Uh, it's interesting too, and super cool. Let's just get right into this. Okay. You can get your rinky dink target. That's cute. Packaging, or not packaging, advertise. Oh, these are instructions. Wow. Fancy. Okay, well, let's, let's uh, look and see what we got here first. Fancy box thing. Deformation. All right. A gun for your gun. Some just really, really bad looking darts with kind of goofy looking, probably not very sucky, sucky heads. I will say it is packaged fairly well. I was uh, kind of surprised here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, interesting. Kind of got a flappy torso bit that's, uh, wow, that actually feels really, uh, okay, that's getting into crazy stuff. Okay, he's apparently shoulder cannon -y things. Let's zoom in a little bit and really appreciate how super cool and interesting this is. Okay, oh, we gotta get his, get his gun. Okay, these guys pull out. Okay. Whew. Just a second. For a minute, I thought our gun guy couldn't carry his own gun. There he is, a very, uh, very convincing um, robot form, I guess. Okay, a little bit of tippy action on the toes. Not sure how secure he's going to be. Actually, he's die cast. I'll be darned. Which, I guess it's nice it's in his feet. Maybe they'll counterbalance some of the Mondo backpack he's got. So, just, it's kind of funny, the uh, for being having die cast parts... The parts that are still plastic are really kind of flimsy feeling. Um, a rather odd posture with his shoulders kind of jutted out forward of his kind of center line here. Zoom back out, it's not quite that interesting. Um, kind of going for a. Uh, well, he's kind of wobbly, kind of wibbly. Kind of a soft ratchet on the knees, just a friction joint on the feet. Uh, fairly decent articulation of the hips, no uh, no thigh swivel. Rotation on the oh, there's actually a ball joint hidden in the in the shoulder, that still only gives you a bit of a meh motion. 
No real shoulder articulation beyond that. Kind of a double jointed elbow thingy that's just part of the uh, transformation. Hands don't really want to stay in place. Oh, the forearms are also feel like they're die cast. Interesting. Um, head doesn't really move, it kind of looks down, kind of. So, hmm, interesting. Okay, a little bit of articulation on his decorative shoulder cannon things. So, he can kind of stand there. Doesn't really, uh, doesn't really do any cool action poses for you necessarily. But that's, uh, it's not awful so far. I mean, it's uh, as far as the the uh, presentation, the plastic seems to be molded well. It's not fitting illy. It kind of feels about what you'd expect, but it's not awful quite yet. So. What the heck is this thing even supposed to look like? Let's let's play by the rules and go by the instructions. Just ferocious wolf gun. Dazzling halo. Dazzling halo? Supersonic wave shocks broken the many foreign energy. Well, how about that? Instruction manual of the diecast deformed robot gun. Okay, well, it starts off in gun mode. I need it the other way. Huh. Boy, it's been a long time since I've done anything like this. Hmm. Okay, well, at least we can have a picture of kind of what it's supposed to look like, so give me a minute and we'll play with this. So far, so good. Is that really it? Kind of what it's supposed to look like? Uh, I admit I didn't do the instructions, I just kind of uh, winged it. But it's uh, kind of looking the way it looks in the picture, so we're going to say how the heck do you prime this thing. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Boop. Okay. Huh. Okay, let's uh I'm over here in a little bit. Okay, just firing off into the house. Um we're looking at like probably sub jolt type power, about kind of what you would expect for a Deformation, Ferocious Wolf Gun, Dazzling Hero, Interesting, Super Cool. The actual firing mechanism seems to be a self-contained unit, so one would imagine that one could uh, maybe increase the spring load a little bit, or okay, it's got an air restrictor, maybe you can knock that guy out, not knowing how efficient the airflow is. Um, it doesn't feel, like just feeling it in hand doesn't feel as awful as that I would expect. I think the having the die cast not only on the um, bottom of the grip, but also kind of up here, actually gives it a fairly nice balance. It uh, The front end seems to lock together pretty good. The back end is a little, well, the arms don't really tab in as well as you'd like them to. Um, but that's really the only part. The rest of it kind of locks together pretty good. I would not use this in a war necessarily. I mean... I don't think it's intended for that. Oh, sorry, we need to, need to put the gun on our gun so we can gun while we gun or something, however that goes. Huh. Okay. It is a, uh, I guess it's about what you'd expect. That one actually wasn't uh, awful. Um, from a kind of a weird, gimmicky, transforming, deformation, toy, supersonic wave shock, ferocious wolf gun thing. Uh, what the heck? Let's uh, let's put the chronograph up real quick. I'll gather up my darts and we'll actually see get some numbers on this thing, just for kicks. Okay, get the chronograph up and running. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Fifty. Fifty-four. Oh, hey, that, how about that? Another 54. Uh, let's grab some waffles and things like that and see what uh, 
not knowing the weight and whatnot of the goofy darts it comes with. That didn't sound as good. 37. Well, Andy. Fifty-three. Forty-three. Ugh. Sixty-one. Sixty-one. What the heck? How about that? Forty. That was dismal. Forty-six. Sixty. 62. Ha! So. <laughs> okay. So we're talking like maybe old in strike type performance. Um, spring load doesn't feel tremendous. It kind of feels like, well, like you'd expect from a stock knockoff ferocious wolf gun thing. Um, huh. If, if you're into a uh, Transformer crossover type uh, mood, I'm not sure what the heck the price is on the, what the heck, whoa, wait a minute, what do you got here? Oh, that's probably part of its little combination-y thing, okay, well, if this is what you're looking for, I mean, if, if this is what you want, if you're like, boy, I sure wish I could have a Nerf gun that transformed or deformed into a ferocious wolf gun, that'd be really cool, then this might be right up your alley. As far as any kind of war practicality, no, it's kind of a, a silly gimmick. It's functional. I mean, that's, uh, I will say it's functional. It, it does what it's supposed to do. It primes and it fires. Um, it does that and it doesn't fall apart. And there again, it's, uh, aside from just this little bit on the bottom of the grip, it uh, holds together better than uh, you would kind of uh, expect given what it actually is. Uh, construction isn't awful. The plastic is rather thin. Um, it does kind of have that that knockoff plastic feel to it. And these panels here that are part of the arms and also the kind of beaver tail, whatever the heck you call that thing there, uh, feel a bit th like kind of thin and like you wouldn't want to mess with them too much. But uh, everything else seems to be, you know, as far as the, the joints and everything seem to be fairly robust enough. The hands don't want to stay in. That's a bummer. Um, and the when his hands of course, don't want to stay in. They don't want to hold the gun either. Um, it's a, uh, it's a thing. Uh, I was surprised to see the die cast, which I mean, does make it nice for. Uh, I mean, gives them a little more stability, having more weight on the bottom. But uh, like I said, if if this is what you're looking for, then uh, this is, uh, then there it is. <laughs> um, do you need to go run out and buy them? All of them so you can make the big combiner weird looking thingy? Probably not, unless you, like I said, are a weird transformer collector and just think it's so neat that you can have a deformed wolf gun, uh, nerf gun. Huh. Okay. Transformation is fairly self-explanatory if you have kind of a picture of what it's supposed to look like. Um, yeah, it's, uh... It functions. It's a gimmick. It's more, it's, you know, it's just kind of a silly thing. It does stand up, though. I'll give him that. Kind of. Boy, would, sure would be handy if you had, like, a uh, thigh swivel of some kind, just to give him a little more stability there. But he's, uh... It's kind of one of those things, if that's what you're looking for, then I guess that's pretty good. I mean, it's, it's not a bad product if that's what you're looking for. It doesn't do what I'm looking for. Um... It doesn't, uh, probably not what we're looking for in the majority of the nerfing community and stuff like that, modding and boring and whatnot, but it is a silly little harmless uh, ferocious wolf gun with a dazzling halo. Was it uh, stunning? What was the word? So, I mean, super cool is uh, somewhat subjective, I guess. Um, interesting. I will say, as far as advertising, it is interesting. I will give them that. That is accurate. Not crazy about the super cool deformation. And it was shooting the soft bullets, so I will say he's an honest little guy. I mean, he, he just kind of—he's just kind of like, "Hey, look at me! I'm, I'm a ferocious wolf gun." But um, do you need to rush out and buy him? Probably not. Is he an awful product? He's not that either. 
like I said, he's just kind of, he just kind of is what he is. And he's just honest about it. He's just like, you know what? I'm a ferocious wolf gun. Very ferocious. So, and you get their little rinky-dink target. It's just a piece of uh, printed card uh, cardboard. So, no, he's not bad. He's not fantastic. He just kind of is what he is. So uh, I'll, I'll give you that. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description below if you're like, you know, crazy about, man, I've been wanting one of those. Uh, more power to you. Uh, to the rest of you, uh, at least this has been somewhat uh, humorous, I guess, looking at this guy uh, and enjoyable. And uh, I guess maybe we'll have something a little more super cool for you next time. I'll see you later.